Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm doing another speed build. This one isn't particularly for my save file and I haven't created any sims for it. I'm just sort of in a building mood and so this is what I'm doing. Um, it's a modern, I guess, kind of house. I don't know. I don't know the difference between modern and contemporary, to be honest. Um, I really don't. I've heard both terms and I just don't know. Um, either way, these no normally aren't my specialty. I've done a few modern houses and I'm glad, I'm happy with how they turned out but it doesn't come naturally to me, that's for sure. I do struggle a little bit. Um, I definitely had to use a picture from Google for inspiration for this one. Um, I actually was just looking at different houses, wasn't even really looking at making a modern house when this one came up, and then I was like, actually, yes, I do wanna try this one. I really like the look of it, and I thought that it would be, uh, well, not simple, but <laughs> easy enough for me to do the layout and the floor plan of the house and try to make it look like the picture. Of course, the inside, as always, I just sort of wing it and do whatever I think would look good. Um, I do that a lot in my builds. I Even if I'm trying to follow a certain floor plan and um, try to make it look just like the picture or just like whatever floor plan or house I found online, I always go off on my own little thing and do it myself in my own way. So that's what I did here. Um, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm calling it uh, Cypress Terrace, but I'm pretty sure that's what it, this lot is already called. It's one of the bigger lots in Oasis, or not Oasis Springs, uh, Willow Creek. It's right behind the um, Lewis Kim house. I'm pretty sure. I actually don't build on this lot that much, but I think it was already called Cypress Terrace and I thought that actually kind of suits it. Um, in the picture that I found, there was like a bunch of trees and it was like a heavily wooded area in the background. And I tried to make it kind of look like that in this build as well because I really loved that uh, sort of theme of this like really super modern house in the woods. Um, it kind of reminded me of the house from Twilight <laughs> that um, the Cullen family lives in. Uh, I just, I really love that house. I love that it's in like the middle of nowhere and there's a bunch of forest in the background. Perfect for your vampire family. Um, but this one, uh, I played around with different um, like tones and finally I was making it work with like this rock look um, I've been trying to make it work in a lot of my other builds to have the rock kind of accents and it finally worked here uh, To make those pillars sort of like a rock look and I'm really happy with how it turned out um, In the picture there was a driveway I believe but I just didn't really see the point in doing a driveway because we don't really have cars anyway. Um, sometimes I do garages or driveways in my builds, but in this one, I just didn't really feel like it. And I find it frustrating that we still haven't had cars. And I don't know, I find it frustrating when we ask for things and we get something different. <laughs> That's, it's just too annoying to me. And so I just, I completely avoided uh, working with a car, any kind of garage or driveway because it would just bother me that we can't use them. Um, it's like a tease basically. Um, also started with the landscaping in this one before I went inside. I always say in my builds that I try to completely finish the outside before I go onto the inside. And I actually did focus a little bit of my landscaping on the, um, in the first part of the video before I get into the inside. And I might do a few more like little touch ups later on, but I'm pretty happy with how the outside looks. I didn't want it to be overly landscaped. Uh, so the floor plan, which I did not cut out lately, I have been leaving them in and which is odd for me because I actually most of the time cut them out because it takes forever. Also, just ignore what I was trying to do with the stairs there. I thought I would have like an open balcony look, but decided not to do that because I just did that in a collab video that I did and I didn't want to do it again basically. So uh, this house has three bedrooms downstairs and then the master bedroom is upstairs. Um, and then everything like the kitchen and living room, everything like that is also upstairs. And I really like that because I, I don't normally do that in my builds. I feel like a lot of them are the same. Bedrooms are always upstairs. Everything else is always on the main floor. But this one is a little bit different. And uh, I really enjoyed building this. It was so much fun. It took me a very long time. This is sped up a lot. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than my other videos. But it just took me too long. Um, I guess four parts. Four separate parts I recorded in. And two, di two days of... of trying to um, get this finished. If I'm ever building when I'm just not in the mood, then it really shows in my builds, I think. So I always, if I ever feel like I'm not really into this right now, I have to stop and do something else and then come back to it later because 
I know that it's not going to be my best work, but um, I really do love this kitchen. I think it looks really good. I've been using the Cool Kitchen countertops a lot lately in my builds, um, so maybe I'll take a bit of a break from that. But I do really like this. I love the way it looks with that um, rock pillar there as well and the little breakfast bar. I think it's really good. I used also the uh, fridge that has like the glass door, which I don't normally use either. Um, always trying to try like sort of different things in my build, so they're not all the same. Um, there are some builders that I just, I've, I mean, of course they're good builders, but I feel like all of them are the same and you're kind of always watching the same thing. And I'm trying to be a little more diverse. So I did a collab recently. I did a small modern home, which is, I guess, sort of similar to this one. Um, but also like the interior design of that house was, uh, quite different. It had like a black, red, and white theme. And this one is just kind of like a, I don't even know what this is. I guess it is contemporary. I'm pretty sure this would be called contemporary. I don't know, whatever you think it is, comment and let me know and we'll go with that because I really don't know. Um, I also have, I have other builds coming up, um, like a build challenge coming up as well. I did the, uh, the grandma's house recently too, which was really fun. Um, I'm always trying to think of different styles, different styles of house to houses to build. And I would like to try something I haven't done before as well. I think that'd be really fun. Um, so just finishing the dining room now, trying to pick out colors that kind of contrast or at least look good together, which is kind of a struggle for me. It's something new for me. I'm trying to work with colors a lot more. I've actually even been like reading about interior design and like studying it a little bit, not really for my own, like my own house because like whatever, but in the Sims to me, it's more important. So I've been going with that a little bit lately. Uh, this living room area I think is really, I, I just love the way it, it turns out. I like the look of like the couch. It look, looks very sleek and like the glass table. And um, I put a rug in there as well that kind of matches everything. I'm really happy with it. I've been thinking about installing Reshade because I think it really helps with your screenshots. Um, well, just gameplay too, but mostly screenshots. Like I watch other, like Simlessy's screenshots turn out so good all the time. And so I'm tempted to download Reshade. I think I've tried before, but it didn't work. So I feel like it's gonna be a bit of a, a project to try and download it. I am not that, um, savvy when it comes to those types of things. I've only recently started downloading custom content and I had no idea how easy it was. I was so intimidated by it before and I played my game for like three years without ever downloading custom content because I thought it'd be too difficult to do. But now I download custom content like every week I'm looking, I'm shopping every week and downloading stuff. I just downloaded a whole bunch of toddler hairs today. It's, it's, like, a, it's like an addiction once you start it. You just can't stop. And so that's kind of how I feel about the reshade. Uh, once I start downloading things that kind of make my screenshots look better or my builds look better, I feel like I'm gonna just go off on a tangent. I think I might even start using some custom content build items, which like is so taboo to me. It's like a sin because I actually do not watch um, other people's builds that have custom content except for um, Yorkie because I mean, how can you not? But I, I feel like that's, I don't know. I feel like we have enough build items in the game and when you use custom content build items, they just don't match and they look out of place and it no longer looks like you're playing The Sims. It looks like a real house and that's not what I want. I'm always trying to make it, like that's why I like Max's match. I will not download a single piece of alpha custom content because I hate it so badly. But um, I don't know. I have been thinking about maybe downloading a, a few build items. Um, cause there are some things we need. I've been looking at, um, like for the beds, like right now I'm looking at bed swatches and two of them were basically, look at that. They, they were the same. There was a stripe one and there was like this weird pattern that I ended up going with. They're so similar. I feel like we need more bed patterns, um, and more options for beds because I just don't really, I feel like I've used them all and I'm over it. Um, but there are these bed overlays you can get. Like it's like a duvet cover almost, like a set that you can put on top of a bed that looks really good. So I've been thinking about doing that, but I don't know. You might see some custom content build stuff in my builds, but definitely not much of it. Um, I, I just can't stand videos where people use only custom content. To me, it just, it doesn't even look like The Sims anymore. It looks like something totally different. Um, and I certainly wouldn't want my Sims to live in that either. So uh, yeah, that's my rant about custom content. Um, so this is the, the master bedroom. I used the wardrobe that came with the stylist career, uh, which I've never used before actually. So I put that in there. Um, was trying to go with like this brown cream kind of um, theme. 
which was a little difficult, but I think it turned out pretty good. Um, looking at the vanity, it doesn't totally match because it's got this older rustic look to it. Um, so I don't know, I feel like that, maybe I could have done without that. It's funny that I think of these things later as I'm watching this back, but in the moment I'm thinking like it looks so good. Uh, but yeah, the, the main floor, the top floor, I guess, is just about done. I think I just had to add some stuff to the balcony. There are two balconies, one that goes off the master bedroom and then the main one where I put uh, like a table and chairs. Um, so I'm doing that right now, just picking out what I want to go there. And I did put some like little wall lights on the outside as well so that it's kind of lit up at night. Um, I should have taken some screenshots at, at nighttime. I think that would have looked good. Uh, but of course I did not. But if you want your Sims to go out there, um, it will be nice and well lit. I think it'll look really good. Uh, and I did put like a little candle in the middle of the table as well. And then I think I had the barbecue, but that might not be till later. Um, I just wanted to get that part out of the way because I was just dying to put something on that balcony. Uh, the bathrooms, there are two bathrooms on this bottom floor and I kind of got them both to match pretty well. Um, use a lot of items that I don't normally use as well, like the wood tones. I think a lot of the stuff came with the spa day stuff pack. Uh, which is a really good pack. I love that pack. I think it's kind of underrated. People don't talk about it very much, but I really like that pack. I think a lot of good stuff came with it. I like the showers and the tub, um, just actually everything. It took me a long time to get that pack. I didn't think it was that good and I'm glad I've had it. I have it now. Um, so yeah, the two bathrooms sort of match. I imagined um, a family of five living here, two parents and then three kids. So I think I did two teen rooms and one child room. Hold on. Is that what I did? Yes. I think I did two teen rooms and one like little boys room, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, that's what I'm starting on right now. So with these square rooms, it's kind of hard because I feel like all the kids rooms I do are the same. So I was trying to make it look a little bit different. Um, also, I love the windows that I used in this build too. Um, for the bottom floor, I used the taller walls. And then for upstairs, I think I used the regular walls, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe vice versa, I don't quite remember. But uh, yeah, this is the younger boys room. Um, I always like to, I, I really like doing kids rooms. They might be one of my favorite rooms to do, especially if I have the time to just kind of like spend most of my time in the kids room in the grandma's house that I recently did. Um, I just enjoyed that room so much. I took my time with it. I think it turned out really well. Um, this one, I, it felt a little more rushed because I have so many rooms to do. Um, so I feel like when I have a ton of rooms to, to furnish, it's, I kind of speed through it a little bit. Um, so this is the uh, the teen room. I think I did two of them, two girl teen rooms. Um, this one kind of has like more of a pink and white uh, theme going on. And then the other one is more like a purple and black or like purple and brown. So it's a little bit darker, but I really like this room. I think it turned out really good. Um, these two bedrooms, this one and the one I just did before, uh, both have doors leading into the bathroom. So they share a bathroom. And then this bedroom has its own bathroom. Um, and this room was fun to do as well. I, this is the type of room I would have wanted as a teen, I'm pretty sure. I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I love the purple walls and the purple pillows. Um, the beds that we got with Seasons are so good. I just like them. So I think they're all, they're my favorite. I think the Seasons, the build items that we got with Seasons are my favorite. They're, they're really good. I use them all the time, just like that shelf that I just put in there. Um, adding a mirror. I did like a little TV area as well with like a game console. It was a, a big room, so I felt like I needed to fill it up with something. And um, so that's why I did there. Not sure if that vanity would be usable because it's so close to the bed, but I thought it looked good like that. Added some more stuff to that shelf to make it look a little more cluttered and like a teen's bedroom and uh, like a laundry hamper as well. And that's pretty much it for that bedroom. I think for the hallway now, I just put in a couple of rugs because there are two uh, entryways into the house and I hadn't really decided which one would be the main one. Um, I did put like an umbrella stand and a shoe rack at this door, but the other door, like to me, it's the front of the house. So like, I feel like you would go into that door. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm not sure which one is supposed to be the front door, um, but either way, I didn't really even decide. They both kind of have that same look to it. Um, so now I just added a barbecue there. And then for this room, um, I did this room last because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. Um, 
Oh, now I'm back on the deck. But that back room there, I think I even did the backyard before I went up into that room there. I can't quite remember, but I did end up putting a hot tub in there. Um, was playing around with a pond, who knows why. Um, but I did put the hot tub and then I add, added some other items up there, which I don't think you'll see me do because I did cut some things out because it was taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to. Um, I did go over to the backyard, added a pool, and then these two chairs that I kind of turned into lounge chairs as well. And um, then I put like a little basketball court back there as well. And what else did I do? I think I did, oh, that, that little corner uh, couch area, which I really like. And then I think I also added a bar. Um, like I said, I'm not sure what I cut out and what I left in, so I'm not sure what you're gonna see here. Uh, oh, there's the bar, okay, that is in there. Uh, and then just some lights behind it. And I think I added some like, um, some, plants throughout the the entire backyard it's not a very full or very busy backyard there's not a whole lot going on back there but um, I want to do something for the backyard and I thought a pool would really suit this build as well um, so just adding some other landscaping things like I said you probably won't see me add the finishing touches oh you do look at me go <laughs> Never mind. I thought I cut more out, but I, I guess I didn't. Um, anyway, that is pretty much it for this build. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it so much if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.